Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here today. We're gonna find out a general collective message from the Holy Spirit. Why? Because why not? It's Friday. I hope you're feeling amazing. It is literally the finale of that amazing show that I'm watching. What's it called? Lord of the Rings. Yeah, no, I'm totally into it. I'm totally into Lord of the Rings now. Um, something, Rings of Power. Okay, it is Friday and I love, I love that show. Anyway, I just have a lot to be grateful for. Anyway, let's clear the energy. I really wish to channel Holy Spirit messages for love and light for the collective at this time, what they need. <sighs> what you need to hear at this time. I heard gratefulness, gratefulness, um, practicing gratefulness energies. I don't know what that is. Wow. I mean, I'm, I know what grateful this is. I just, I'm not very loyal to it. We have loyalty here. Number 33. I'm really getting something about divine feminines right now. Okay. Okay. We have complicated here and loyalty. Listen, a message that was coming through from spirit earlier, and it was confirmed through um, a high priestess that I watch. She was talking about really jealous, catty women in your circle. Okay, the number 33 is coming through as Empress Energy. The number 11 is coming through about Twin Flames, your soulmate, your high level something or other, okay? I feel this is very much a message for Divine Feminines. I, yeah, I'm hearing it. I would be very, very cautious, very cautious about who you tell your business to right now because I think that's what's happening is you're having telepathy restored. That was a message that was coming through. Telepathy is restored. Um... A couple weeks ago, I talked, I don't even know if it was that long. I talked about how telepathy, whoo, child, on the split, deceit. Three plus eight is 11, 11, 11. I feel like a lot of you want to tell somebody right now about like the person that you want to manifest or like, hey, did you, I, I had this dream with this person or whatever or something like, yeah, playful. Like there's an energy here of like, I just want to tell somebody, oh my gosh, look at this. 33 plus 11 is 44, right? Three, 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 one, 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 or four, four, four. You could be saying, I feel like you guys want to tell somebody about something going on in your life. Cause you're really playful. You feel really, really good. Mm -hmm. You feel good. You feel good. I'm hearing. Cause I just, I just got good news. The high priest is a spirit. Look at that message, dude. Okay. So you have, okay. All right. All right. Oh God. Please tell me why I'm hearing vindictive, spiteful comments coming from people. High Priestess of Spirit and Message. You guys could have just had a dream with a deceased ancestor. You could literally have a dream with your twin flame or soulmate, whatever, whatever. Whatever. Like, what the fuck ever? Like, I'm tuning into some energy of, like, a girl saying this. Like, a woman is saying this to you. Like, what the fuck ever? What the fuck ever? Like, I don't care. <laughs> okay. The fuck? Oh. Spirit, yeah. Okay, so they're basically saying be loyal to what you love right now and kind of keep it silent death i would really keep your mouth shut though honey that's what i would do you have the moth here over her lips i'm really getting you're okay the empress i told you i was getting that energy and then we have the page of swords be very careful who you tell right now about good things coming into your life be very 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 cautious um especially a woman i keep feeling like this woman for the collective yeah, this person has like a different color hair or like they could, they could. This is just a message I'm getting. They're very unique in their style. They're very, they're very cool. They're very cool and hip and uh, I don't know what I'm, what am I getting? Six of wands. They're really, they're really loud. They're like, they're, they're noticed for something. They're really recognized. This, these are not the type of women that you would expect would be jealous. Never in a million years would you expect this woman to be jealous of you. No shit. Queen of Wands, because they have such a, wow, wow. Okay, this is shocking me. I'm a little shocked right now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, that's why the tower is here. I'm literally shocked. You're gonna be literally shocked very soon when you go to tell somebody your good news about some sort of romantic interest. Either you just met somebody or you could have reunion coming back. Like, somebody is coming back for the collective? Muse of inspiration, nine of cups. You're, you're inspired by something or someone. I just saw 444 on the clock. You're inspired by something you're really passionate about. And it's like, boom, as soon as you tell someone, you're gonna be shocked as shit to see that they don't really agree. Three of pentacles, they don't really like 
that you're into this. Five of swords, two of swords. They're trying to cloud your judgment, bro. I would not tell somebody something because this person, five of swords, two of swords, they want you so hella confused. Uh, oh, three of pentacles. Nah. It's not the person that you're manifesting. It's like someone else, a third party, three pentacles, that you work with, you collaborate with. It's definitely a woman. Queen of Swords, yeah, definitely. I would be very cautious about who you tell your good news to right now. Um, I think it's gonna shock you. It's not gonna really matter if you do if you do share it. Spirit's telling me, yeah, Five of Pentacles. All they'll do is try to convince you that what you just manifested or what you just received is not gonna happen. Um, it won't matter. It won't matter because you know that it's going to, right? You know that it's going to. So it doesn't matter that this is what they say, but there is something about this person being very much in lack mentality, trying to convince you 555 on the clock, five of pentacles, that that change that's going to happen, this person coming in and staying is not going to be, it's not going to be long lasting. I don't like this energy at all, at all. The sun in reverse. I'm, I, I, they don't want you happy. I don't like this. I don't like it. Ten of Swords. Ugh. I literally have this weird taste in my mouth. Like, it's really weird. But I'm almost getting, like, they put a bad taste in your mouth. This person, it could be a Leo, uh, a Taurus, or any fire sign, or a Scorpio. Oh, my God. They put, like, a weird, oh, they put, like, a weird emphasis on, like, making you sad. The Wheel of Fortune. The Magician. The Lovers. The Emperor. Two of Cups. I'm fucking done. Listen, this is what it is. You're manifesting love back into your life. The wheel of fortune with the magician is meaning that you are turning the wheels of fate in your favor on, on your own on purpose, deliberately, deliberately. Look at all these majors though. Can you believe five majors? Oh wait, no, the two of cups, Never mind. Four majors in a row. We have the lovers and the emperor. You guys have literally reconnected. This is, this is a divine union. This is, uh, oh shit. Emperor and empress. High, spirit, high, high priest is a spirit, 1111, the empress again. Listen, it's something about like you have manifested something fierce, okay? And there's someone you're about to tell or you just told. I'm here and trust that shit. If, 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 you're, if you felt like this person just took on the spirit of jealousy or envy, please trust that shit, okay? Please trust that shit. Justice. 11 fell on top of the complicated. Wow. Wow. This is very much coming from people who don't want you in spiritual union. So it looks like to me, so it looks like to me, we have 1111 confirming a divine counterpart coming into union. I don't know who you are, but it is so delicious, this energy, okay? That somebody else has put their like claws into you. There's something about like, ugh, like they want this. They want what you have. I heard the name Rick. Yeah, they aren't you. Ooh, I heard it though. I heard, I don't care what you say. They aren't, this is God talking now. They aren't you. They don't get to have what you have. Oh shit. Oh shit. Self-esteem issues. I think it's going to surprise you. I think it's going to surprise you. We have a goodbye here. You might even be tempted to walk away from this person. It's going to surprise the shit out of you because this person comes across super confident, super confident with the queen of wands and the six of wands. This person's like famous or they get, they get some, some level of recognition. Like it's going to surprise you how much they, they, they are like, what? It's going to shock you. I hide things from you. Yep. It's that they are really insecure. They are really insecure. It's a woman. I, guys, I keep getting a woman here. It could even be in your own family. I just saw family issues here. I'm scared of you rejecting me. This person is, wow, negative thought pattern. This person is going to do this because they really want you to be like away. From, they they want to be away. You want, they want you away from your person because they're scared that you're going to reject them because they're not the same caliber of energy, of, of um yeah, like love and, and, and vibes, you know what I mean? Like high vibes. Yeah. They need you. I spy on you, my love in one to two days. You guys, this could happen to you within one to two days. I spy on you. They, they, yeah. This person, righteous anger. What's this? You are everything I want. 
guy. Guys, you just like freaking met someone, artist. Trying to manifest you. Whoever you just manifested, bro, is like literally the real deal. This person is like your counterpart. Yes, I hadn't even seen that yet. Yes. You are perfect just the way you are. Thank you, Jesus. This is so gorgeous, guys. This is really giving me life, okay? It's so beautiful. Emotional wreck. People are really trying to come in to convince you that like you're crazy. I, I'm getting that. I'm getting like, they're trying to make you feel like you're an emotional wreck. Like, oh, I think that, I think that you shouldn't maybe be like that too excited because you know, it'll just, you know how it works. Shouldn't get too happy, you know. That's what I'm seeing here for the collective. Can I get one more on the 1111? What do I keep seeing 1111? Eight of Pentacles. I heard it worked. It worked. Ace of Wands. It worked. Something worked. The Tower. The Star. Dude. The Fool. The fucking Ace of Cups. And Justice again. 11 minutes, 11 seconds on the clock. Thank you, Jesus. This is crazy. This is like, you just manifested a huge tower moment and it's like, I don't know, it's a dream or it's some sort of like, it's an epiphany of some sort. It's something, it's something. And it is like literally blowing people's minds how powerful you are. You did this. I'm hearing you did it. You did it. I don't know what you did. It could be a spell. Somebody could have done a spell. I'm not sure. The star, the fool, the tower, more majors with the justice card, four more major arcana here with two aces. You could be a fire sign. They could be a water sign. Whoever you manifested. Honey, you legit just manifested your fucking counterpart. Like, like straight up divine counterparts. You just manifested it. I'm about to do it. If you haven't done it already. The temple path, bro. I'm done. I'm done. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The temple path is literally the high divine union card for me. And there it is. Hostilities. Can you make it up? No, you can't. You really can't. 12, 12 on the clock. Number 12 here. You can't make it up. Then we have the, the Libra card again, which is justice here. And then journey to soulmate union. Guys, that's what it looks like. Angel of love at another 11. Come on though. And then healer of the ages. Guys, just stop right now. Like you have literally manifested your divine counterpart. And there are so many people, dude, there are snakes in the grass. I would be very careful who you tell right now. Anxiety. Yep. They're nervous. Why are they nervous? Why? Action. That you're going to move away from them. I feel like I need to tell somebody um, something about a mom. I'm really getting a mom energy for that, that 33. I keep seeing Empress and I'm getting, um, th you're moving away from a mother is what I'm getting here. So your mom could be really, really... Oh, this is giving me, you know that, that movie Tangled. Tangled. Um, you know what I mean? That movie? Goddess of the Moon. Yeah, I'm hearing Rapunzel let down your hair. That movie, that movie. Yeah, you know how she was like, she was like, don't leave the tower, because I say so. And then you're like, yeah, but mom, I really want to see like what love is. And you're like, I, I don't care what you want. You can't have love. That little girl with the hair, she says deuces to her mom. That's what she says. And you know what she does? She finds love. So I don't care. This narcissist, okay, we're talking about a narcissist here is what I'm hearing. And this person does not want you at all, at all, at all involved with this person. I keep hearing like, absolutely not over my dead body. And this is like your divine counterpart. Like, get away, get away. This is your divine, oh my God, this is your kingdom spouse. This is your SP. This is like the one you've been wanting. And I feel like the collective is about to have a huge ass blessing. And I'm hearing the reason that these people are jealous is because they aren't you. They didn't do what you did. They have not done what you've done. You sacrificed everything, right? You left everything behind for what you know is, is well, what you're worthy of. You left everything behind. Don't let them for one second convince you at all that you're not allowed to have this, honey, because this is delicious. I don't know what you just did, but honey, it looks good, okay? Why is this coming back? Five of wands, ace of cups, because you're, oh my God. Okay, so 
the five of wands is like a card of conflict but i feel like you are still so in love with you and love and god and like freaking butterflies and everything that the five of wands is representing i don't care who i have to fight off energetically for this i want it i get it that's it that's literally it there it is That's it. As Ariana Grande would say, I see it. I like it. I want it. I got it. That's exactly what you're doing here with the Ace of Cups. Like you guys, you don't even give a fart finugan anymore about the Five of Wands' this conflict that's coming down the pike. You're like, I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. You could just take it. I don't care. <laughs> this is so great. What a cool reading. I want to kiss you. Oh, sexy. I want a family with you. Uh, damn straight was over way too soon. Okay, I don't know what that's about. Maybe y'all had some sex in the astral plane or something. Oh, telepathy, bro. One of the biggest um, messages that Spirit laid on my heart today was um, telepathy being restored in these divine unions. For you to see how powerful you were and that you blocked that telepathy out of fear. Yeah, it was definitely fear. You allowed other people to convince you that you were like kind of crazy or something. Transformation, but like it transformed and, and you're not, you're not thinking that you're crazy anymore. You're like, nah, I fucking know what I'm hearing. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. I'm having dreams. I'm having like, you know, astral projection. I'm having a telepathy. Like you guys are saying now, like, I'm not, I'm not crazy. Just because you thought I was crazy doesn't mean I'm crazy, right? So right now, you guys, be very careful who you, who you speak to about this stuff, okay? Wanting to send you a message. Can't make it up. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And then we have, yes, girl, you can't make that shit up because I literally just said, your telepathy is being restored. And here it is, God saying, I'm wanting to send you a message because I hear you. I hear you now. It's being restored. Um, and also a lot of them, your, your counterpart is thinking that you're effing hilarious, by the way. Because you are. You're, you're hysterical. You are the light in the darkness. Guys, so freaking cute. This is literally going to happen. Okay, you're going to like get married and have like 16 babies and stuff. It's really great. Anyway, if you guys want a personal, all the information is in the description. I love you and keep your lips sealed because I'm really getting from spirit that this is not the time to be go talking about everything that is going right for you in your life right now. Like at least just, I mean, hold off for now. Yeah, my candle just went out. And you guys know how I feel about that. When I, when I channel a message like that and the candle goes out, it's like, it's a weird omen. Okay. It's a bad omen. Um, so yeah, don't let these people, these negative Nancy's convince you that you're not allowed to let down your hair, Rapunzel, and, um, go meet your Prince Charming. Okay. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.